What's up everyone? This is Maximilian, and you're watching Street Fighter 3 Third Strike The Online Warrior. It's over. So Third Strike's been out for quite a bit of time now, and most folks have had the chance to begin getting used to the new system, or the old system for most, and making the adjustment from previous Street Fighter games that are the new age of Street Fighter games. Uh, pretty much talking about Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 series, and Marvel vs. Capcom. And like I was mentioning in previous videos, moving, moving backwards to a game that was before the year 2000, it's pretty jarring to see how different the fighting game genre and how fighting games have changed since then. If anything, it can be really shocking for players that aren't used to this kind of stuff, and that's where I'm really curious. I'm really curious to see if you are a, a player who's recently jumped into Third Strike and you're a fighting game player that started up relatively recently. I'm talking more along the lines of Street Fighter 4, um, Marvel vs. Stuff like that. If if you are if you are unfamiliar with the the older generation of Street Fighter games, like the Street Fighter 3s, the Street Fighter Alphas, the Capcom vs. SNK games, go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me how you've fared in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online. Is the transition been extremely hard for you, or do you actually like this old one better? Um, I'm really curious to see because through through my interpretation, moving backwards and essentially going from Third Strike and playing that game for an extremely long time with Capcom vs SNK2 and Marvel vs Capcom 2, and then having that long period of waiting until uh, Street Fighter 4 came out. It was, it was a bit jarring when Street Fighter 4 came out for myself because I was playing the game like it was Third Strike back in the day. Um, for myself, playing Street Fighter 4, I was kind of like tailored to that game, and, and I was also mentioning prior that I had problems moving back to Ken in Third Strike because I was so used to his playstyle in Street Fighter 4. Um, but now that I've been playing a few games online and eventually getting, getting back into the rhythm of how Third Strike games go, how, of how each one is treated and how people move and how you're supposed to move, it's, it's starting to all come back to me. Uh, I haven't, I haven't been able to play very much against extremely skilled opponents. There's a few guys on my friends list that gave me the opportunity to jump into some player matches, and it was a lot of fun playing playing people that are really good in third strike. I actually really enjoy high level third strike play because there's a lot going on, like during every empty jump, every moment where you're waiting for a down parry, uh, and even, even times where you are anticipating the parry and then they're not going to give you that move. It's it's really cool. There, there seems to be a lot going on. Um, but when it comes to the, the initial meta game, like the initial parry meta game in Third Strike, um, I, I'm really curious to see how people are soaking that up. How how easy has it been to jump into the, the flow of Third Strike, and is it essentially you just getting blown up online constantly and you did really well in Street Fighter 4? Or was the transition, you know, pretty good for you as well? So, I'm, I'm curious to understand, or... I'm curious to see your responses, and if you would put your comments below, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll put reference of it in the next video. Um, if we were going to talk about some matches here, you'd notice that I'm starting to use a variety of characters. I'm a big fan of Ken. Ken is technically my main in Third Strike. I'd say my, my second is Dudley. Uh, and my third is probably Oro. Uh, I do have a lot of fun using Q in this game. Um, even though Q isn't an extremely flashy character, for some reason I think the Q character in general is so awkward and creepy, and do, trying to be effective with Q is a, is a huge challenge, so I'm always up to making this, make, making this game look interesting and fun, and I'd actually like to get some Q gameplay later on, later down the line. But, um, other than that, uh, Oro is a character I'm trying to get better with. And he's always been a lot of fun for me, too. Oro is a stun beast, and if you know the normals he has in the couple of specials that cause a ridiculous amount of stun, you can, if you guess right like a couple of times, you can stun somebody really fast. Uh, another character that I'm extremely fond of and that you're watching on the screen right now is Dudley. And Dudley's an, a very hard-hitting character with some slow normals. Um, if you throw out his fierce punch or his forward fierce punch too much, it's it's one of the easiest things to parry in the world, and you're gonna you're gonna get punished pretty hard. But being unpredictable with it is probably the best way to go, as well as a lot of other things in Third Strike. It's about being random and being extremely unpredictable. 
Um, this is a Dudley versus Dudley fight right now, and I'm actually really fond of this matchup. I think Dud Dudley v Dudley is a ton of fun um, because there's there's so many things that you can try to do on wake up, and so many things that you can try to do uh, after you get a knockdown. And it's with Dudley, if <laughs> if you guess right, it leads to so much damage. If you guess wrong, it leads to a parry and potentially so much damage because Dudley Dudley relies a lot on standing roundhouse into EX machine gun blow, and EX machine gun blow in this game leads to a, a a lot of damage. And depending on where you are on the screen, if you're in the corner, it's brutal. But that's gonna just about wrap up this episode of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike: The Online Warrior. If you guys have any comments, concerns, or questions, feel free to leave your comments below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Gutter trash.